Hello everyone, welcome to another Fox Tech video. This time, as you can see, we have the iPad in front of us and the topic for today is how do you turn on vibration on an iPad? Now, this is an interesting topic because people may be searching for it, but this is more of an explanation video rather than a tutorial video. Because if you don't know, iPads are not equipped with the vibration motor inside of them. Simply put, the iPad doesn't have the hardware to make it vibrate, just like the iPhones do. And in that case, you don't really have any vibrations on your iPad. It's, it's a weird topic to discuss, to be honest, because if you open up the settings and go to the search, and if you just look up vibration, you're going to see that there are some things like vibration settings, even with, within the iPad, which just means that if you tap on it, see, you can tap on it, but nothing gets selected. Nothing shows up because it's simply not here. You can get inside of the section, but nothing is shown to you. That just means that the settings from the iPad are still connected to the iPhone. Even though iPad OS is supposed to be a separate thing, it's still kind of connected because you have the entries from the iPhone, but you don't have anything to customize in terms of vibrations on the iPad. So this is what may be confusing to you. You may still search it up and find it in the settings, but it doesn't show you anything. The same thing for haptics. If you look up haptics like this, you can see there is the audio haptics, general haptic haptic touch you can go and go inside and try the haptic touch but nothing really vibrates you can just get inside but nothing really changes but yeah there are some options to theoretically customize but nothing really happens or changes in the real life by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now but if you if you are so kind of confused and if you claim that you have felt some vibrations from your ipad it may have happened to you that if you are watching some kind of content or most likely that you are playing some kind of music when the sound is too loud Loud and your iPad is equipped with stereo speakers just like this one is, well, the sound itself may actually vibrate the iPad. It may feel that the iPad is vibrating, but that is only because of the speakers doing their job. So if that's something that you may be confused about in case you literally felt that your iPad was vibrating, it was probably because of the speakers and that's the only thing that you felt. Without it, you're just not gonna be able to do anything else. It's not like you can enable some kind of vibration motor inside of this because iPads are simply not equipped with it. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. There isn't much to explain. So that's just the explanation video which I wanted to provide you with. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this valuable, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss videos like this one in the future. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.